Hey there, everyone. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Statue. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Gowling. Zelda, the first one. There's a single tree here. Is that weird for anyone else? Probably not, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing there, but I'm gonna try because here's the thing. All right, so here they're on Zalco playing Legend of Zelda. Uh, I'm gonna be real. There's not a whole lot in between uh, Dungeon 3 and Dungeon 4. They are very close to one another. I think this one is burnable. Pretty sure maybe it's the one below it. I'm pretty I think there's a burnable tree here. Oh okay, it's that one. There you go. God damn it! <laughs> well, whatever. It's fine. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of a detour, maybe in these woods. I think one of these trees is burnable. Yeah! Okay, well there we go. Compensation! Oh boy! Okay! More compensation than I could even and then you're on the other side um, Might be something over here, right this tree Whoa, yeah, the, the game loved all the attention everything was getting Hey secret for everybody. I Love se Wow ten whole dollar ruse look look not all moblins have a lot of money to give all right the fact that he gave anything at all, in and of itself, is meaningful. And I will not remove that from that person. Alright, you know? They're doing what they can. I'm gonna burn this for no reason. Wow, nothing happened. Up here, check it out. It's a lake. A dog lives there. Hooray! We did it. We've solved the mystery of the dog lake. And I'm... I keep thinking there's something here, but I think there just never is. Oh, whoops. I'm this time using my sword. Which made me remove my shield from in front of me. Alright, well, I don't want to get healed by the healing fairy. It's too long. Anything here? Okay, this is one of those shapes where I'm like, well, there could be something here. Whoops, I forgot to turn over to the side. Starting fires, that is how we spend our day. Yeah, I'm gonna try both all these trees. Why not? Like, what else am I going to be doing on this jolly and practical night? Yeah, fire, it's the best. Right, so if there's a door on the screen, I don't think there can be a bonus because it's like one screen has the ability to send you one place. Could buy arrows. That is something I could do. That merchant is very insistent. Over here on top of here is whoa, there's levers. Those are the name, they're the game guys. They're blue. They're stronger than the red versions. We know this. It is an established rule. You can set enemies on fire. Like, it got hurt. I don't know if it got hurt all that much. But it got hurt. It did not like it. The Zora doesn't show up here. Anyways, underneath this guy. Yeah. Check it out. Stairway. But what's over here? Yeah. So, 250. Uh, so, spoilers. The maximum amount of money you can carry is 255. So that's cool. I just bought meat. <laughs> I got meat. Will I be able to show off what meat does? You cannot eat it. You cannot. You cannot just chow down on this delicious meat. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the, the arrows. I'm gonna need them eventually. I forget if there's a cheaper arrow anywhere. So I'm just gonna buy the $80 arrow. So now I can use my bow and arrow. I have access to projectiles. What an incredible concept. All right. Let's find some screen that is better made for the purpose that I need it. Alright, so you see? Meat! You put meat on the ground! And uh, in theory, enemies should be going towards where you put meat on the ground. See? See how they're all going here? I don't know. Like, if I'm. Like, I feel like this was maybe not the best demonstration possible in the universe. It's just a feeling I got. Alright, let's. Put meat in the middle. Will enemies go towards the middle? 
Like, that guy's kind of, like, around there. So, it looks like if they detect where the meat is, like, they're gonna get there, but... If they don't know, they might be too stupid. Oh, then the meat disappeared. I guess it got eaten. They ate the meat! Which is, you know, I put it on the ground, that's, that's what I did. So there you go! Power of meat! Very incredible. Quite a touching force to be reckoned with. Remember when I got a boat in a dungeon? Yeah, boat! Here we go, that's what boat is. It's a key! Here's a cyclops, you're gonna go inside its mouth. It's level four! It's, yeah, olive? It's that color. Alright, so what we got here? We got bats. Oh man, we got bats. Bats everywhere, every day. Everyone loves bats! Especially if they give you a key for massacring all of them. They probably don't love it though. That's okay. For me, I think it's okay. Check it out, it's these things. Oh, they love bats. So this is what would have happened yesterday with the slimes and uh, if you like, you know, the big slimes. If you chop them up when you have the, the basic sword, they transform into mini slimes. Just kind of like what this guy is displaying here. And, um, yeah, so that means you don't get any drops at all. It, it, I don't know, I, I feel- ooh. Welcome to Darkness Spell! That is reason number two why you want one of these. Because, of course, like, the, the screen, the sh shape of the room is gonna make no sense. Oh, look at that! Boat is, like, on its own, like, little thing on top of the screen. I guess that's the code for it. Can't be used here, Sonny! I mean, fair enough, I guess. Alright, I wanna... I mean, I don't need... I don't need this. I don't need, but I will get it. It's there. I feel like I should get it. I got a compass. It cost me a whole key, but now I can see the general direction of where I wanna go, I guess. They already all came back? That's kinda weird. Uh, anyway, here's this screen. There's a key in it. Whoa! And that's unbelievable. Never before thought I'd see the day where a bat would just kind of fly somewhere around me and be like, Whoa, check it out, I'm spooky. I feel like starting with level 4, I know a whole lot less per dungeon. Like, I feel like I was just kind of figuring them them out. And, uh, yeah, like... I, I, like, up to now, you know, I felt pretty confident in them that I knew exactly where I was going and what I was doing. This distinctly does not feel like it's the case anymore. Huh. I love how they get pushed back violently, though. That's fun. Man, this is a, uh, 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 uh. There we go. They look like they're having a lot of fun, though, the, the vampire. I don't know what they are. Like, the fact that they split into bats is so weird. Like, a slime splitting into smaller slimes? Yeah, no, yeah, all the time. Like, we understand that. But a bat? Bats are not slimes, they're bugs. Like, they're not the same thing. Alright, anyways. See, these guys, they know how to behave. Alright, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get their money and their key. Uh, alright. Well, I don't know where you are, so I'm gonna go down to go in a menu, then set you on fire. <laughs> so that was the pool room. If you want to go for a swim, get here. Oh, and look at that. There was just kind of a barrier of entry here. See, but like, I, I, I want to change the boomerang. So I can... Well, it doesn't matter. There's a guy on the other side. No, I can get to the guy on the other side. Also, I can select this now. I bought, I bought the arrow, so I'm a... Basically, if you buy an arrow, you get a license to use an arrow. Let me demonstrate. There we go. Uh, so, I don't know if you've noticed, but that cost me one money. I think I understand the logic that they're going for. So we bought the arrow at the store, right? I think what they're going for is that it basically it's the equivalent of like retroactively having bought one arrow per like like you know per uh, per ruby. Like you get like I don't know, like it costs you 80 for the original license and then it's one per. Like it makes a certain amount of sense. I think it's kind of interesting. I don't know if that was the intention. Welcome to everyone's friend, the like like. It's here. It's it's here. It is dangerous. 
Like, you see how it's moving slowly everywhere? Yeah. It's not kidding around, buddy. You do not- No! 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 Okay. Okay. Was not punished. Well, I mean, I took some damage, but was not punished. Uh, something terrible could have happened. Man, this is subtly a terrible room, but every room is terrible when a like-like is involved. So, you know how you need to destroy everything to be able to do a thing like that? Yeah, it's- uh, you don't need to destroy bubbles, so bubbles can still exist around. Well, check it out! You found a ladder! A classic Zelda item that you use, like, all the time. It's in every game. In every game, Zelda game I play, I'm always like, Man, I can't wait until I find the ladder. <laughs> so what does the ladder do? Let's you do this! That's right, you just kind of put it over floors, like holes, and it lets you just kind of cross over. It's honestly pretty neat. It's a pretty weird one. Um, yeah, it does not come back. I mean, that is not an item that would have, uh, survived the transfer to the 3D era, I feel like, even if it was continued in the on the NES or something. But, uh, it's fun. You know, you got, you got passageways you can cross over now. And there's a map. Oh, I think I just wasted a key. I, th I think I recognize, yeah, it's this room. I wasted a key. All right. Sometimes that- Man, these guys just come back forever? And they give no prizes. It's like, why are you here? Why- why are you allowed to exist like that? It's very bothersome. Um, I should still destroy everything here in case there's a drop. Like, I'm not gonna get, uh, any hearts. I'm aware of that. I could drink my potion, but I'm not going to, I guess. Yeah, like... I know I'm not gonna get, like, a heart or a fairy, but I might... Uh, like, you know, a thing could have fallen in, like, money or a key or something. None of that. Alright, so, this is the room we were just at on the other side. Whoa, don't be too excited here, Bimmy. But here is the map! Is that what dungeon is this? The snake? Looking at the mini-map and my own map, we can see that, uh, I've, I've been... I've been pretty assiduous and going through everything. Here's, like, the eyeball of the snake. Do you think there's a hole there? There is! By the way, you can use bombs to make holes like that. Yeah! It's money! That wasn't a lot of money, but it was a number of money. Cannot not lie about that. So yeah, so normally, like, the map is pretty reliable and where you can make a hole, like, in a wall or something. Like, it t I feel like it tends to be pretty logical about the spots where you're allowed to do that. So, like, you do- you, there really is no- like, I mean, okay. If you're just playing the game for the first time, I can see why it would be- uh, look, inviting just kind of blowing up all the walls everywhere, like, I get it. But for the most part, places you're allowed to bomb are relatively logical. You, uh, I am almost dead, man. I, alright, just blow up. Oh boy. Whoa, no! Okay! Kind of saw that coming, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> what? That counted? All right, Manhala. So the thing with... So yeah, sometimes... Yeah! Sometimes bosses return, as many bosses like that. That's a quick kill. Uh, the fun part is they remain dead. Remember how the fuzzy caterpillar remained dead? I guess that's a... Mini boss level of enemy. Shocking, I'm aware. Walk into the waterfall! Yeah, I did that before. Don't... Whoa, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't repeat things. Everyone know already, all right? So I think this is a waterway room. There's already a drop on the floor, so killing everything here. Ah! Bata. Uh, is not gonna get me anything. And, uh, like, a new thing I don't think will appear, and these do not have any drops, so, uh... Oh, that's... Okay. That's the shape of that room. Really? 
Okay. Nice. Alright, I should not have taken that hit, but see, this guy is gonna be dead, so we can just go. This guy has all the info that I will ever need. Walk through the waterfall. I did that already. I learned about going to mountain, going up, 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 up. Up, up, up the mountain. Alright, all the bats are dead. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. This is the room with the traps. Okay, so you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to just kind of like, eh. And you'll be safer than I felt like I was going to be. So, good. Right. More of these. Oh, they're, they're a great time. Alright, now I'll just have like all the bats in the universe. It's just all They're fruit bats. They're not even dangerous. But, you know, uh, there's some kind of mechanism locking things away here, so it just has to happen. I missed entirely. I did that. Yeah! So you gotta clear so you can push the block. We can hear the boss. Oh my gosh! It's Gliok. It's an actual genuine dragon. And, uh... Wait! I have the big shield. Is the big shield not enough for these? Oh. Um... That's good to know, I guess. Okay, you gotta hit the body, I guess? Well... Eh. Okay, you can hit the face and the body will flash. Yeah, okay, well, okay, there it's fine. Like, even if my shield couldn't block, I would've gone fried. I'm just shocked that even the big shield doesn't protect from dragon fire. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna take the death. <laughs> Man, because, like, there's just so little enemies, you can just, like, kill kill, so... Healing on the walk back here is... Kind of... hard. Uh... And this boss is really awkward. Oh, all I need to do is be flawless, no problem. Yep. He beat me flawlessly. I... I messed up. I messed up. I forgot, and yeah. No, I, I forgot again! Why do I not remember? You gotta be centered, so that, you know, when you're pushing around, you gotta make sure you're, like, actually where you need to be. Alright, if I can get some hits, then I might actually use my potion. This is just completely absurd. Can I do that? Can I attack you from, like, the side there? By the way, I can chop the head off, and then it becomes alive. And it also spits fire. Uh, and it's the only one spitting fire, actually. The regular head has stopped completely. I guess it was only that one that was spitting fire. Alright! Hey, didn't need to use my potion! Here we go! 
Yeah, so, you see, it's- well, I don't know, like, how many health- I lost two health, okay. Maybe one, I'm not sure, I'm not good at remembering things. Uh, so, so I don't think that getting the fairy is why I won. But I feel like it definitely sort of gave me the psychic energy I needed. Like, having a lot of health does help, like, mentally. Thank you for the heart! Next time! Something, we're halfway through, like, if you look at that, we've got all the external parts of the triangle. Now we just need to seek out the internal parts.